everybody, I'm Justin with VMP Performance. Welcome back to the VMP channel. Next to me on this engine stand, I've got our Odin supercharger system. When we first came out with the Odin system in 2019, one of the things that I knew we had to have was a no grind Fiat system. We accomplished that. The belt drive installs without any grinding required. It's a really nice plug and play setup. As people have pushed Odin harder, as we've pushed Odin harder, we have found little things that have come up and we have engineered solutions and improvements to address those things. The part I'm gonna tell you about today addresses belt wrap. The heart of the Odin Fiat system has always been the upper Fiat bracket. Of course, you also have a tensioner, an idler, you got two idlers on the Fiat bracket itself, and then the supercharger pulley. With any type of Fiat system design, you wanna give the customer the ability to change supercharger pulley, change the belt length correspondingly, and then have the tensioner take up any slack in the belt as you move through the rev range, because this belt does move around a bunch. The part that I'm gonna show you today addresses belt wrap around the supercharger pulley. When you change the pulley and go from something large like this 88, Odin kits come with a 92 or a three and a half inch pulley, down to something small like a 69 when you really wanna party. If I show you on this engine right here, we have made the upper idler on the bracket adjustable. This is in the bottom position. This is slightly higher than the previous generation Odin Fiat brackets. And from there, you can loosen up this bolt and you can slide it and then tighten it down. This is kind of exaggerated. You of course never want the idler pulley this close to the supercharger pulley, but I'm gonna swap on a 69 and you can see what this is really for. Now we're gonna install the 69 or the 2.6 inch pulley. We don't recommend going any smaller than a 2.6 or a 2.5 inch upper on a six rib belt system. With an eight or 10 rib, you can go all the way down to a 2.4 inch belt. And as I'm gonna show you in a minute, this bracket really increases the wrap around the smaller pulleys. So as you can see, this is our idler in the bottom position. I'm gonna loosen up the bolt. I'm gonna slide it all the way up. I'm actually touching the 69 right now. I'm gonna back it down a little bit and tighten it. With that, we've got a 15% increase in belt wrap on the supercharger pulley over the original Odin Fiat bracket. I'll definitely take that when I'm trying to make power on the dyno or run down a track. This is the standard Odin Fiat bracket. It's got three mounting holes. These two go in the front cover and this one goes in the water pump. If you remember from some of our other videos, the water pump mounting hole can be troublesome with aftermarket replacement water pumps because the boss that this ties into is sometimes shorter. In that case, you just use a thin washer about 40 thousandths thick and that fixes everything. I'll we'll get into that more later. So as I was saying, this is the original Odin Fiat bracket. It has two idler pulleys that go on it. These are what we call 61 millimeter idler pulleys that come standard with the Odin and Loki systems because they use a six rib belt. They're very narrow. This is the Atlas bracket. It's quite a bit beefier and it has an extra mounting point to support this idler being all the way up here on the belt system. It uses the same three mounting points and then adds a fourth one that ties into the block. So one of the important things I wanna tell you when you're installing this on the car, we always like to tighten the two bolts that tie into the front cover first, make sure everything looks square, then tighten these other bolts last. And we'll actually show you that on our printed instructions. So from here, when installing the Atlas bracket, you're gonna reuse your existing lower idler pulley. In the case of six rib kits, it's just gonna be your 61. Go ahead and put that guy on there, tighten it down with the bolt. If you have an eight or 10 rib kit, you're going to be using an upgraded idler down here. The wider idlers for the eight and 10 rib kits require a water pump pulley that has the back lip cut off for clearance. The other thing that has to be done with the eight and 10 rib kits is this boss right here has to be ground down 
about an eighth of an inch. Like I said, that's only eight and 10 rib kits. Finally, when installing the Atlas bracket, you're going to take some of these supply components. Let me see if I can juggle them in my hands. So the first thing you've got is the idler standoff. You've got the idler pulley. With the Atlas bracket, we include one of our special VMP 60 millimeter double row bearing idler pulleys. So this idler pulley, because of the double row bearing, it's not gonna deflect side to side. It's also rated for very high RPM use. Because this is pretty brutal when you have this idler all the way up here this close to the supercharger pulley. So we wanted to make sure we included a really good idler. The last thing that's gonna be part of the Atlas bracket installation is the T-nut slider. This goes in the back of the Atlas bracket. You put your standoff here. You put your idler here. The clip on the idler is going to face out. This is just a 10 millimeter hole, 50 millimeters long. And there you have it. This idler has a nice amount of travel up and down. This is what you're gonna get in the package with the Atlas bracket, along with fresh mounting hardware. And you're gonna reuse your lower idler pulley depending on whether you have a six, eight, or 10 rib kit on your Odin supercharger system. This fits all Odin systems that we've ever sold for 11 up Coyote, Mustang, and F-150. I hope you enjoyed learning about the latest creation to come out of VMP. This Atlas bracket is designed to help you have more fun with your Odin supercharger system. Make sure you like, subscribe, or share. Check out the product links in the description, and I'll see you next time.